ரெஃபரன்ஸ் எம்ப்ளாயி ப்ராவிடென்ட் ஃபண்ட் நாமினேஷன் ப்ரோசஸ் டு அப்ளை ஆன்லைன் எம்ப்ளாயி ப்ராவிடென்ட் ஃபண்ட் நாமினேஷன் ஐ பி டீச்சிங் யூ ஸ்டெப் பை ஸ்டெப் ஹவு டு அப்ளை ஃபார் தி எம்ப்ளாயி ப்ராவிடென்ட் ஃபண்ட் நாமினேஷன் பிஎஃப் நாமினேஷன் what you need to do is first you need to go to the pf portal go to the unified i'll just zoom in so you can view clearly go to the unified member portal use your credentials over here you enter your uan number password enter the captcha and click on sign once you log in the member portal using your una details that the, this page will open up where you need to enter um click on manage once you click on manage in the fourth you have e nomination you need to click on e nomination under the manage category once you click on e nomination a different page will open up st- stating having family yes or no okay and the nomination time and everything you will now have to add the family member by providing their aadhar number or uh, if you are adding the nominee like your father mother wife spouse or your children where you need to provide your aadhar number name or this aadhar number is of the nominee adding family details aadhar of the nominee name date of birth gender relation address and guardian or uh if you want to remove it you can remove it you need to select nominees from the family list enter the total amount to be shared for example for you can add your father and mother and you can share the nominee amount total amount of share 50 to 50 percent your spouse you can add you can add your children there also you can share it and epf e nomination form e signing Once a nominee request is made, another page will open up pending nominee status where you need to e-sign through your OTP where you need to <coughs> In this, what you need to do is you need to go to the uh, This is like once a e-sign up op- option, a new page will open up Here you need to enter your other details Other details and get OTP enter the otp and submit your epf e nomination is complete now to view pdf a and you can click on that and what you need to do is the one more most important thing is you need the profile photo of the nominee for your father mother spouse children where you need fo- photograph the photo has to be taken using digital camera or the photo is 3.5 cm by 4.5 cm in size the image file should not be larger than 100 kb the photo must be in jpg format or jpg or png format how to update your profile photo again go to the login uan account under the menu section select view from the drop down menu and choose profile click on change photo click on browse to select the photo from your computer click on preview and upload photograph now select okay confirmation stating are you sure to upload the photograph what are the benefits of e nomination okay what are the benefits online claim filing in case of death of the employee provided member it's very online they can claim it second online payment of pf money to your nominees pd claim settlement paperless process epf e nomination prerequisite make sure your profile photo is updated profile photo of provident fund employee profile photo should be uploaded if not if you able to initiate epf nominee update online the same is true date of birth permanent and master status if not you will not be able to initiate epf nominee update online and your mobile number should be linked to other number is all the prerequisite which is actually you can see the prerequisite and your siblings 
you cannot have nominee as your siblings like brother or sister or not consider as family members under the provision of provident fund law this means you cannot nominate your provident fund beneficiary to select as for having a family obligation in case you're not in case you're going to nominate your brother or sister as your unmarried you will have to select no to the having family option you should have the key details about the nominee including the person's official name date of birth father number and photograph to complete the e nomination you need to have the photograph of the nominee okay to perform many action to e employee provident fund website a member typically needs approval from its employer this however is not true in case of e p f o e nomination e employee provident fund can file their nomination online through uni portal a uh, nomination facts if a member wants to nominate more than one family he has the option to add them a married member who has spouse and children should add them even if does not wish to nominate them spouse and children are considered as family member for the pension fund and <coughs> add their na- name in family first only a unmarried member who does not have any of the family member mentioned above can nominate any other person irrespective of his is or her relation of the provident fund only a member not having spouse or children can a nominate person on pension contribution in case there is neither spouse nor children only the pension nomination link will be open and member can nominate one person as per the employee provider sheet any person nomination made by the member of his pf provident fund eps account automatically becomes invalid a pf member can change nomination if at any point in time a pf member can file a fresh nomination as e sign the same however editing the earlier e sign nomination is not possible a member who has filed epf e nomination as unmarried needs a fresh nomination after marriage as the earlier nomination becomes invalid pf member should try to update the nomination as when there is a change in the family member due to the birth or death of the nominated person this will help the family member to get their dues the frequently asked questions how is pf money of a deceased member this is just the death of the member paid in the absence of nomination the provident fund money is payable to family member in equal share under para 70 bar 2 the employee provident fund scheme in the absence of eligible family member it is payable to those who are illegally entitled to it what is the use of giving nomination of for provident fund on the death of a provident fund member before receiving the pension if there is no eligible family member the pension is payable to the nominee to whom is the pf amount payable in the absence of valid nomination with no family member in the absence of valid nomination with no family member the provident fund amount is paid to the dependent parents father followed by mother can a unmarried person nominate someone from outside his family as pf nominee yes however for having a family the nomination will become invalid and the benefit of eps 1995 will pass on the spouse and children if any can a person outside my family be nominated as my pf beneficiary the employee fund the organization allows you to nominate person outside your family who consists of a family according to provident fund law according to provident fund law your mainly family consists of the following your spouse your children your dependent parents your siblings or not part of your family as far as the pf nomination is concerned was this video helpful if you like this video please do share 
and subscribe and thank you for watching